Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna start a new series that I might add a couple of videos to, but it's basically just gonna be a customer states series. Um, I work on a lot of uh, a lot of local people's vehicles around here, and I thought it'd be fun to make videos on them. And I figured, you know, name a little customer states, and it's just an easy way to easy way to title the videos. But today we have a 2008 ford f-250 with the 6.4 liter power stroke um bought this at a wholesale lot it's been deleted even though it's been both of them egr even though it still has the egr mechanism i'm hoping that it has a tune here to, to disable that because the egr coolers are blocked off and the uh, dpf is gone now he came in here well let's do it customer states low boost and a lot of black smoke um now here and that i didn't really there's a, there's a lot of things that could be going on <clears throat> now one of which when you delete the egr it has you can see it let me get a light um you can see that top of the ebp that's your exhaust back pressure sensor that goes right down into <clears throat> your up pipe where you can see that stainless tube where it goes into your um that upright elbow that hooks up to your old ejr cooler now those are known to clog up with soot over time and then sensor won't read correctly uh he replaced that because he thought that was going to be the issue and he, he says that he gained a little bit back but not really much now my next thing is that it might be a map sensor given a bad air read i'm going to take the uh, top of the air filter housing off and check to see what the filter looks like but uh concerning the black smoke um i don't now it's not it's not out of the tailpipe from what i can tell he said it's uh under the engine bay area and my mind went to a cracked up pipe now i looked at this before um just for a couple seconds just looking at it first i wanted to see because this is a very different turbo actuator than what mine had when i saw it a 6.4 I don't know which one's the updated version, but I know they had an updated part number for this actuator. Now, it does say Reman on top on the sticker. Get that for you. But So, at one point, um, at least the turbo or at least the actuator was replaced. Now, I'm curious if the whole motor was replaced. Um, he doesn't know. He bought it from a wholesale lot. Truck is from Kentucky originally. And I'll get you... See in here, but before I checked it with someone else and they turned the key. Um, if you cycle this and you can hear it sometimes, your uh, the turbo actuator move. You want to make sure that it, it, it does its full cycle back and forth. Uh, that is the vacuum pump. I don't remember mine ever being that loud. I don't know if that's a sign of failing of those. I don't really know much about those little vacuum uh, boosters, but. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what I found. I'm just going to cycle it again. It is a little cold this morning. Not that this is really cares that much, but you see the glow light and, uh, the glow plug light and uh, it's gone. Sounds good on crank. Very quick. No stuttering. And for the most part, it sounds good. Now you can hear that ticking. That ticking... You can see a little haze, but I think it's just my breath shining. Now I'm gonna close this, and I'll show you what I have found. So that's your manifold, and this is your up pipe. Let me see. Um, the set, and if you look up the block, that is. Well, let's see if you can see it. That whole back of the block is all covered in soot. But if I put my hand up here, I can kind of feel, I can feel the air coming out. So, now it's just a matter of finding where it's coming out at. I feel like it's coming out down here too. And you just got to find out where everything is coming from. I'm kind of suspecting that this gasket is bad, 
but I do not know for sure yet. There's all city up there. I'm trying to feel where it's coming from, but we'll see. Everything looks okay. I felt it the other day and I thought I could only feel it from up top, but now I feel like it's coming. I'm getting a, a little draft, but I feel like it's coming back around, but we'll get out of here real quick. Oh. Drawing out from under here. But Inside. Yeah. Let's see, this is all power. I'm not used to that. Side of the seat bag a little, but it's all uh it sounds pretty quiet, engine sounds good, and being under there, you can you can feel it. Now this does have 211,000. Now if this was the original motor, I'd say he's a lucky one to have his motor not uh not be dead. It does. It kind of sounds like his. I mean, it sounds good for the most part. There's just, when it's coming down, around that. Around that like 1.25 area, about the 1,250 is about where there's like that little blip. But you might just be hearing that because it's uh, let's turn mirror to frost. Uh, which one is that in this thing? It's nothing. Uh, mirror to frost. There we go. I don't really need that off. Oh. I'm curious about that. I do want to take it for a little ride to see what it's doing. It's weird kind of being in this in this truck, but just because I've had one. Now, before I back it off the edge here. It is good sounding. Sounds good, seems healthy. I'm kinda, I definitely need this defrost too, actually. We're just gonna crank that up. See if we can get that to go away real quick. Guys, I can't see that well with it. I also don't want to hit this giant wambulance. So, we did a little pause. I was giving it, probably just had a couple minutes, see if it uh, would defog at all. Truck sounds good. But yeah, he's definitely not building boost. And he is, it's hard to see. Yeah, he's, he's got a boost problem for sure, which I can hear that down under to spraying. Now, if this was a cracked up pipe, I'd be able to, I think, I, because it's right in the middle, so it would be kinda, I'd be able to tell immediately. Um, but being, 
being where I think it's that gasket from the manifold job pipe, I can feel it and it's blowing down and it's blowing kind of at the at the bell housing um not directly at the at like the firewall so that's why i'm driving it um so i can kind of feel what it see what it feels like because it but I, I wouldn't be driving it if it was an up pipe because uh, up pipes have a chance of catching the truck on fire and it's actually been quite a few quite a few known cases if you're a part of any six four forms or anything or People driving and with, with an up-pipe crack, they just don't really care. and They're like, oh, whatever, it's just ticking, making noise. and um, No, and then all of a sudden they catch the truck on fire, and they're like, well, why'd that happen? It's like, well, because you're blowing really hot exhaust gas right at the truck. But this is as far as I need to go. Um, turn around. That was enough for me to see that this thing is not at all building boost, which is is what he said um i just like to be able because everybody everybody has different feelings for everything that you know that they that they do and i like to be able to tell what they're saying and relate to what i'm doing but you can hear it it's, i i can't really hear the wind i'm hoping you can't really hear the wind either but it uh all you can hear is that is that gasket of some sort. And I don't think that this turbo boost gauge ever made it even to 10, because that'll go up to 40. And when mine was running, I mean, down through here, I can make 20 pounds of boost not even trying, if I really want to do. And it definitely is, it's definitely slow. Well, you know, because of no turbo. Really, the turbo's not doing anything. I mean, I'm at, I'm at 40. The exhaust should be screaming right now. It's not. It, there's no turbo. There's no exhaust. There's no, no nothing. And it is blowing a pretty decent amount of smoke out the, uh, out the tailpipe too. So. Well, let's see, I'll probably go up there and I'll back it into the spot instead of drive in. It makes it easier in general, but I'll uh, get back with you. So to end the video here, I'll just do a quick little walk around and show you this beautiful truck. And it is straight as can be. Now, I'm going to end up calling the customer and letting him know I think it is that gasket. And you can immediately tell it's deleted. That thing should scream. It does have a muffler on there. I don't know if you can see under there, but anyway. So uh, this thing should be screaming, especially uh, turbo functioning and everything. Uh, this truck should be should sound awesome. Should be loud. You should all you should really hear is a jet engine. Um, it's kind of kind of what these turbos sound like. It just sounds like a jet screaming all the time, and, and they sound awesome. Uh, this one, all you can hear is uh, is that gas going. Which just the whole time there's no turbo no nothing so i'm gonna call him let him know what i think i think it is that up pipe to manifold gasket little dorito gasket and uh we'll we'll check back with an update and a direction that the truck is gonna go in